Hello again, Boomhauer144 here. So today I want to talk about the defense in Arena, specifically for Hero Dual Survival. Um, so for the first time this week, we actually ranked in the top 500, and so we'll get a chance at Hero Dual Glory, um, which we'll get into a different time because I'm obviously not experienced in this being the first time. Um, I have a couple ideas for what I want to do for this, but um, it, it would be a little premature to discuss that right now. So for Hero Dual Survival, I've had a lot of frustrations with defense over the past month or two. Um, so I want to share a few things that I've learned um, and also how I arrived at the defense which I'm using right now. So this is the defense I'm using. Um, it's about the five heroes, but it's also about the order of the heroes. Um, both of those things are really important. Uh, and it's about the strength of the heroes, let's be honest. If you have some red star heroes or heroes with good weapons, which I'm I'm 100% sure weapons apply on offense in arena, and I'm pretty sure they apply on defense, but I'm not quite 100% sure on that. Um, but yeah, you want strong heroes, you want the right five heroes, and you want them in the right positions. Um, so here I want to discuss how I arrived at this lineup. If you want to copy this lineup, that's fine. Um, but if you just want to use some of the concepts here to create your own lineup, that should also work. Uh, first, I'll mention a couple heroes that are not good in defense on Arena. Um, you'll notice that Zephyr and Ulrich are my two highest might heroes, obviously being fighter-based. They're both terrible on defense. Um, the main problem with them is they're easy to play around, uh, and we'll get into that in a couple minutes. Also, I don't have Myers on defense, even though I really like Myers on offense. Uh, Myers is kind of a double-edged sword where he increases your attack, but he also increases your miss rate um, unless your heroes fire off in the right order and Fox or Mantis heals the you know, negative hit percentage. Um, the problem with Myers, though, is if he goes off and then Phoenix goes off right afterwards, Phoenix might miss, um, or Mars might miss. So things that would really be costly for you. So let's start from left to right in the lineup here. So Phoenix is on the left because her defense is actually not very good, um, even though her hit points are really high. So you want her to not... Be hit a lot <laughs> during battle um, so even though you would like her to rage a lot it's okay to be patient because her attack builds over time and you don't need her to to rage right from you know the first couple rounds all the way through it's okay if she waits a little bit and builds up her attack um, next to her is Mars so there's a lot going on with Mars here um, this lineup would also be really strong if if frame were in place of Mars, uh, and actually you see that lineup a lot. Um, if Mars were replaced by a frame here, um, those five heroes are also really really good. So Mars, um, this really gets back to the first thing I want to emphasize. You have to look at all four of the hero skills that your hero has. Um, so if I ask you what does Mars do, I'm sure you know, yeah, he has a really strong attack on a single opponent, and he also reduces rage, but what else does he do? Let's have a look. So yes, uh, the first two of the hero skills I just described. Look at the other two though. Um, so he actually increases the heal rate by 20% of himself and the two heroes next to him. Um, so the two heroes next to him in my lineup are Phoenix, who I need to keep alive or I can't win, and also Fox, who's right in the middle and taking a lot of damage. Um, so it helps that Fox can get extra healing when she herself rages or when Eve rages. Um, so two heroes that are I really need to keep alive um, are helped out by Mars when he rages. Also, the fourth skill there, he increases the attack by 35% of the two next to him. So being that he's next to Phoenix, he increases her attack, which is really, really nice. Um, the other thing is that Mars, if you look at his position here, he's right in front of Phoenix. So he's probably going to take a few more tile hits than Phoenix, 
so he's likely to rage right before Phoenix. So that's the order that we want, is Mars going off right before Phoenix so that she can have her attack raised by him. Right, so there's a lot going on with Mars here, even though it may not look like it on the surface. Uh, Fox in the middle. Um, this one I'm not 100% sure on. Maybe Fox and Eve. I could try to switch around here. Uh, Fox's defense is higher than Eve's, so I do like that. Um, the other thing about Fox is that when she rages, she not only heals you, um, this gets back to, again, study the four hero skills that your heroes can do. She does heal, yes, 44% HP, but she also raises defense by 63%. So when she heals you, she also prevents a lot of damage after that for the next five rounds. And if somebody got you with a, you know, some kind of negative defense or poison or ignite or something, she's going to heal that um, with dispelling the allies' uh, debuffs. So Fox is not the only hero in this defense that can dispel debuffs. Uh, Mantis also can. So I want Fox and Mantis spaced apart a little bit here um, because... I want them to go off at different times. I don't really want them to go off back to back. Because if I need to heal a poison or ignite, um, you know, I want at least one of them ready to do that. So Mantis and Fox, one being in the middle, one being on the edge, they're likely to rage, you know, kind of staggered, um, which will be good for me. So Eve. Um, Eve is an interesting hero, um, so I'm sure you know that she heals. What else does she do? So Eve also um, increases the rage regenerate on your heroes, 24% for six rounds. So really, really strong stuff, especially because the rage is so good of the other heroes here. So that helps my other heroes go off more often which of course is really powerful and also eve she has that you know resurrection effect that when she dies she could potentially come back which makes her a better a little bit better of a shield than mantis um well actually mantis can come back too um but my mantis is a little bit under leveled compared to eve so um yeah i put eve in front of mantis here uh mantis is probably the best hero in arena um along with phoenix i think mantis and phoenix are the two best heroes in arena um so mantis of course screws up their rage but again look at all four hero skills so mantis not only depletes the rage and does some damage the damage isn't really that important um also dis dispels all allies debuffs and dispels all foes buffs so if they just used a Myers to raise their attack or a Fox to raise their defense uh, Mantis gets rid of that he also dispels your debuffs so if they used Agent X on you if they used McCarty Phoenix he dispels all of that so very very good also immune to stun and paralyze so that's good because there's a lot of a frame going around who can stun your team um, they'll never stun Mantis, though. Um, and again, he has this uh, this bit of a revival effect um, also, so it makes him pretty hard to kill. Uh, I haven't mentioned weapons yet, but um, again, I'm, I'm positive that weapons apply on offense. I'm pretty sure they do on defense. So the ones that you use on defense, try to put a good weapon on them, uh, even if it's a radar, because they raise attack, defense, and HP. So I have a pretty good weapon on Mantis. I have actually my best weapon on Phoenix, raising attack, defense, and HP uh, pretty substantially. So I think that about covers the the lineup here. Um, so why did I say Zephyr and Ulrich are bad? Let's go over here to their skills. Let's start with Ulrich. So in theory, Ulrich will raise your defense by 44%. I mean, reduce theirs by 44% and raise yours. So does that really happen, though? Um, 
No, <laughs> because like I said, there's so much Mantis going around in Arena. Um, it's easy to play around Ulrich. It's easy to play around um, Zephyr. Um, Mantis, Myers, these heroes that can dispel um, your opponent buffs. Um, they just wait for Ulrich or Zephyr to rage, and then they dispel the buff in one round. So when it looks like you're getting a nice advantage for six rounds, you're probably only getting it for one. Um, and also, if somebody is using Ulrich on offense like I do, you wait for their Ulrich to rage, and then you rage your own Ulrich, and then your effects take over. They replace the other Ulrich effects. Um, so he reduces your defense and raises their defense, but if you raid your Ulrich right after that, it replaces that. So you raise your own and lower theirs. Um, so the problem is just they're they're really easy to, to play around. Um, yeah, McCarty, McCarty is good. Um, I've experimented with McCarty. I think he's good, especially with Phoenix, because um, one of the things Phoenix does is raise the uh, rage regenerate of other red heroes. Um, so Phoenix plus McCarty lineup is pretty good. Um, the problem is, though, they'll, they'll just use Fox and Mantis on their offense and have ways to get rid of Ignite and Poison <laughs> so that none of them really take over. Um, so all of these defensive lineups are beatable. Um, some are easier to beat than others. Um, but try to think about if somebody is trying to attack this lineup, what's really the best way? I mean, it's pretty resilient. It can remove their buffs. It can remove your debuffs. You have pretty nice healing. You have Mars that attacks a single opponent, Phoenix that attacks all opponents, and has a negative status effect, which is really good. Uh, Mantis and Mars both affect Rage. Um, there's really a lot going on here. Uh, the one thing I don't have, I don't have a way to reduce, reduce their defense, um, which you'd want a hero like Ulrich or a frame to do. Um, but instead of reducing defense, Mars can raise offense, so that's kind of a similar effect. So hopefully that helps. Um, if you have any questions about defense or if you don't have some of these heroes but you want to try to create a similar defense, uh, yeah, just let me know and uh, maybe we can discuss the best options for what you have available. Thank you.